Hello everyone, P from 41 here. So on the bench we have a GY6 reverse gearbox. Now the purpose of this is pretty self-explanatory. It allows your buggy to have reverse. These are commonly found on 150cc GY6 powered buggies. This one in particular is from a Carter Talon, but these buggies were made by many manufacturers under many different names. So it's partially assembled right now. Not all the parts are there. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to put it back together for the final time, uh, but I thought I would show you how it works first. So not all the parts are there, just the important bits. So let me just get this into forward. Now, these splines here, this is your input shaft. This connects to the output of the motor. Now this sprocket, is your output that runs the chain to the wheels. Now in forward, uh, this uh, input shaft locks to that output sprocket. They spin at a one to one ratio in the same direction. Now if we pull out on this little rod which connects to your shift fork, now this would normally be connected to a cable and then connected to your reverse lever. So if we pull that, putting it in reverse, when we rotate the input, the sprocket spins backwards with a little bit of gear reduction. So we'll go ahead and pull this apart. Now it's missing all of the grease and it's missing a few small bits and pieces as well, simply because I haven't put this back together for the final time yet. I just have the main pieces here, like I said, so that you can see how they work. So these are the main bits. Now this is just your housing. This arm will mount to somewhere on the buggy to hold it still. And then most of the support to hold it up comes from the actual output shaft of the engine. So this is where your cable comes in and attaches uh, to operate the shift fork, which gives you your forward and reverse. And then the fork obviously just sits right down in there. I think my camera's out of focus. There it goes. And then the fork engages with your planetary gear set like so, so that it can move back and forth while still being able to rotate. So over here we have our ring gear, which is also uh, connected to the output sprocket. And the planetary gear set goes in just like that. Now the input is allowed to rotate independently of this housing and the ring gear and all that but it's got teeth on it now those teeth have two purposes number one they mesh with the planetary gears and number two the very ends of them actually will mesh with the teeth in the actual planetary gear set carrier itself now this is your normal uh, position this is forward now when it's in this position everything is locked together the uh, teeth on your input shaft are engaging uh, the planetary gears and thereby the ring gears, but it's also engaging the planetary gear set at the same time. So it's all locked together and it rotates at a one to one ratio uh, going forward. Now, when you go to activate reverse, you pull on the cable, it pulls on this shift fork, which pulls this gear set out just a little bit. Now, it's not a ton, it's just a little bit. Now when it pulls it out, it does two things. Number one, it disengages the teeth in the planetary carrier from the teeth on the input shaft. Number two, you'll notice that there's these circular indentations. These will lock in with these nubs on the housing, thereby locking this in place so that it can't rotate. So now, and this will be a little hard for me to demonstrate, when you go ahead and rotate this forward, because the planetary gear set, because the carrier is locked in place and the teeth are no longer engaging it, but they are engaging the planetary gears and the ring gear. Let's see if I can spin this, it's kind of hard. When you spin the input shaft, it's easier for me to spin the ring gear. When you spin the input shaft forward, it ends up spinning the ring gear and thereby the output sprocket 
backwards. And then when you release the uh, reverse lever, it sets back down, disengages from the housing, and re-engages into the splines on the input shaft, and locks back into forward again. And that's really all there is to it. So hopefully you found this interesting. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below.